Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, my lovely Gemini. So this is going to be your daily reading guys for your general energies and also for your love energies, Gemini. Okay, so let's see what's coming up for your general energies, Gemini, before we move on to your love energies, Gemini. Let's see what is coming up for your love energies, Gemini. General energies, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Five of Wands, we have the Two of Cups, and we also have the Six of Swords. So, this is a, such a very, you might find this energy really unique, you might find this energy really stupid for some of you it's really like something is manifesting but then you don't know if it's the right thing that is manifesting into physical reality you really feel like uh, really restricted or you don't know if it's the right thing that is happening in your life okay so that is what i'm getting here Gemini. you feel like uh, something is going on you feel like something fishy is going on in your environment and people are not always like so good and so nice and you know that something is not good that is going on in your environment but you're not sure that uh, you have to be a certain way to kind of make things going okay so really like concentrating on what you actually have to do in order to accomplish certain things so you're really focused on whatever it is that you want to manifest into this physical reality you're really focused on things you're really doing whatever you have to do and you're this person who wants to manifest whatever it is that you want and if things don't go according to your expectations you're really going to be pissed off and you're really going to be sick and sad with that energy and you know how you're going to be if things don't really manifest right so that is what I'm getting for you, general energies, guys. You're really concerned about things and you're really concerned about how things should be in general for you. And if things don't turn out to be according to your expectations, you may not be so sad and you may not seem so sick and all of that. But you're definitely sad at some point. You're really thinking about what you can do in order to manifest that happy energy, right? So that energy is definitely there. So that is what I'm getting here for you guys. I hope you got the overall general energies and love energies for today, my lovely Gemini. So this is all I'm getting for you guys. Bye guys. I'll see you all tomorrow for those who only watch my general energies. Now let's move on to your love energies, guys. What is coming on for your love energies? We have the Queen of Wands, we have the Judgment. We have the chariot. So, generally, with these cards, guys, with the judgment, with the chariot, and all of these energies, really making me think that someone wants this um, connection to kind of happen into the physical reality. One person is really concerned about everything I see here. I don't know who this is, but. Whoever this is, this person is really concerned about several things. They're concerned about how their life should be in another two or three years. Or like, they're really concerned about everything in life. They want to manifest so and so. And they're really concerned about what they need to do at a specific time in order to accomplish certain things. So that kind of a concern is really there with this person again. Okay. They really want to accomplish whatever it is that they uh, want into this physical reality. So they know that they need to focus on certain things and they're kind of focusing on the things that they need to focus on. That's another type of an energy that I'm getting for you here, guys. But generally, this person will always do whatever he or she has to do and will definitely like focus on that 
new beginning focus on that happy vibrational energy so that is what um, is the major energy that i'm getting here for you guys i hope you got the energy right my lovely gemini so this person guys is like waiting so they're ready to wait for you they're ready to wait for this union if you tell this person that um they need to wait for you they need to wait uh, for you in order to have this union or whatever it is if you tell them that they have to wait if you tell them that they need to do so and so in order to manifest this physical reality if you tell them that they have to be a certain way in order for this physical reality uh, in order for this love to manifest into a physical reality i definitely see here that this person will do whatever they have to in order to get you so this person is really focused on getting you they really want you in their life okay and this person will do anything in order to win you they'll do anything to have you and that's a really very sacrificial energy we have here so this person will do anything to have you in their life they will do literally like anything to manifest this physical reality they will do anything to have this new beginning with you so that kind of a very sacrificial energy is definitely that with this person's energy okay so that is what again i'm getting here guys generally this person is ready to manifest whatever it is in order to get you into the life and this may seem a little bit drastic for you this may seem like a little bit too much you might be like oh my god why this person is like this even like you might find this situation really sick or sad you might even find it really very dramatic but that is the truth okay it might seem a little dramatic it might seem like very dramatic but then it is the truth that is what i am generally getting here with these cards guys so i hope you got the overall general energies my lovely gemini bye guys this is all i have for you all gemini this person is ready to wait for you they're ready to wait for you if you want love they're ready to do anything for you guys okay so bye guys i'll see you all tomorrow